Welcome everybody to another episode of The Nails Next Door. My name is Darren and today I have a product review for you guys. Obviously if you guys know if you've been following us for a while we do have some chocolate Yorkies that are running around here. We have a bunch of puppies um, and as you guys know if you guys are a pet owner um, especially a little puppy owner it can be a mess at times. There's sometimes you spend a lot of time washing them and that's perfectly fine. You know, that's just part of the life. But, you know, normally what we usually do is actually just use a blow dryer to dry all the dogs and it works. It works well, but sometimes those dogs don't really like it. Sometimes they get really hot and you have to be careful. Um, also, sometimes it blows the fuse in the bathroom, but that's a whole nother story for another day. But pretty much um, what I'm going to review for you guys today is a product from Petty Tech, which is actually a dryer. Um, this is part of it. Actually, the other half is this, so this actually twists inside the there. Um, there's a few benefits to it, um, and I'm going to kind of give you guys a show in a little while how it actually really works. I don't know how I'm going to set it up because I don't actually have the pop-up tent. There's like a little pop-up kennel that you could get where this part attaches to the dryer itself. And then this part actually could hook on and blow inside of the um, the kennel so they can actually um, dry the dog in there. So there's a couple benefits. And that's why I'm actually interested to take a look at it because we do have young puppies. So sometimes a blow dryer is not the best option for them. So this does have actually timers as well as different heat settings. That way, and it's really quiet. I tested it out like two seconds ago to kind of just see how it sounded. And it actually, it actually is fairly quiet. Um, so I'm pretty certain that it should be very helpful when it comes to actually drying the dogs and not having them uh, be afraid. My only concern is how strong and how long it's actually going to take because we do have puppies as well as older dogs and we'll see pretty much which one actually works better for. Um, hopefully I get to record it. I'm going to have to do like a makeshift type deal because I don't have like a pop-up kennel to put them in. So what I'm going to do is actually use a storage bin. Um, and actually hook this to the side of the storage bin and kind of just let, let this blow down on the puppy after I wash her and see how long it works. We'll see how long it takes to dry, um, if she's afraid of it or not, and kind of go from there. But um, let's do it and see what it's all about. All right, so just in case it doesn't work out too well, I am going to do this in the garage. So this is what happens. Like I said, I don't have, like a, I was watching the videos and the pictures. It looks like they use like a pop-up kennel. And I'll have the links to the social media and all that stuff on the WAPAs too. But it looks like it usually has like pop-up kennel you can put them in so it could dry over time. I don't have one. So my goal is to pretty much set it up here, obviously, put the puppy in, let it dry out. And I'm thinking, now this is only me thinking, that the heat in here is just going to radiate all around and should help dry. Um, and go from there, but we'll see. All right, so this is the test subject right here. You wanna say hi? Hello, test subject. So, you wanna give this a shot? What do you think? This will go, this only could go one of two ways. It's either gonna go really well or really bad. Maybe in the between. You ready? I think she's ready. Let's do this. All right, so step one is done. She's washed, well, step two is done too. She's also been dry with a towel as much as I could. So now, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna start. Start on medium first. Medium sounds good. Oh. It's actually not like hot air. It's fairly cool. I wonder if it's gonna heat up. Alright, so on the highest setting, it's still fairly warm. Not hot, hot. Not like a blow dryer. Which is good because blow dryers can get really hot. So. And she's actually drying pretty fast. But it's probably gonna take a while, so let's, let's fast forward a little bit. So what I did was I actually hooked this on here and it seems to be holding steady. And so even though she's not directly underneath it, it's still heating up in this general area to where she's still drying. It's actually pretty good. Only thing is it's probably gonna take a minute, but that's all right. That's all right. She's drying. It's actually starting to warm up in here. It's not ridiculously hot. It's not hot, to be honest with you, but it is definitely warming up. All right, well, so I'm gonna probably chop off the top of my head a little bit, but as you guys can see, she is done. 
It probably took maybe 15 minutes for her to dry. Um, she's still a little damp underneath the body here, which I'm probably gonna brush out and she could probably go back to normal. But, there she go. She doesn't have a name. Do you have a name? I don't know if you have a name. I don't think you have a name. Um, but she seemed to do very well in there. Um, after after the initial like being damp at first and she started dry off, then she kind of started to calm down. I think what she was trying to do was kind of like dry her face and like with how dogs do and they'll rub themselves on the carpet if they think they're wet or in a towel if you dry them with a towel. So she was doing that, but you know, now she's doing a lot better now. She's a little nervous because she's on a granite countertop and I think it's a little cold, but I hope she doesn't pee on the countertop, which would be fun. But um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave the links to Petty Tech um, so you guys can actually check it out on your own. I went ahead and actually did the, old, the older dog as well. I didn't record that, number one, because my battery died. Number two. All right, so I also did record the older dogs, um, and Nico did fine. He did just like her. He kind of just sat down there and let it do its thing. The other two girls, they didn't really do too well. Um, they were trying to get out, so they'll probably need to have more of an enclosed kennel so they can't get out. Um, but Nico, he kind of just laid there and did his thing. So I would say that if it is for like a smaller dog, a more calm dog, um, then you probably be get away with just fine using it. If you have a dog that's a little bit more active, you probably will need to get yourself like a pop-up kennel. If you go to their website, they actually show you what it looks like, um, but I don't have that. So I had to improvise a little bit and they, the other two dogs kept jumping out the bin. So I, then I tried to put them inside the cage kennel and that didn't really work out because I guess the heat just kind of left the area. But overall, it did pretty well. It's nice and quiet, which I really like. And it doesn't seem to be as like harsh as a blow as a, as a blow dryer because you know those blow dryers have a little kick to them sometimes so um you all right all right we'll go from there all right you, i guess you just want your stomach rubbed i guess that works for me um but she did poop inside the cage which was fantastic so um you're not getting another wash though but until next time people have a good day and if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comments below I will be dropping the links to Petty Tech um, and their various social media pages. Uh, you alright? What do you got going on? Alright, have a good one.